World War II ended, and then a new historical period began. For the French Navy, in order for the fleet to compete, they also had to have patrol and anti-submarine vehicles. The Brigade 1050 Alize, developed in the 1950s, was based on the Brigade Volunteer attack aircraft prototype that did not go into production. The Alize was to be used from aircraft carriers, while the contemporary Brigade Atlantic carried out its missions from bases near the shore. Although the anti-submarine warfare capabilities were a bit lacking, it proved to be very capable as a maritime patrol aircraft. During several conflicts, Indian Navy Alize proved effective against small surface vessels. The Alize was a low-wing monoplane of conventional configuration powered by a single Rolls-Royce Dart turboprop engine. It had a CSF radar system with a retractable antenna dome in its belly. The cockpit accommodated a crew of three, including pilot, radar operator, and sensor operator. The pilot was seated in front on the left, the navigator in front on the right, and the sensor operator sat sideways behind them. The landing gear was of tricycle configuration, with the main gear retracting backwards into nacelles in the wings. The main gear had dual wheels, and the front part of the nacelles accommodated sonar boys. The internal weapon spy could accommodate a homing torpedo or depth charges, and underwing stores pylons could carry bombs, depth charges, rockets, or missiles. Typical underwing stores included 68mm rocket pods or AS-12 wire-guided anti-ship missiles. There is no internal cannon or a machine gun. Prototype of the Alize first flew on October 5, 1956. However, due to a lengthy development and a numerous problems, it was not until March 1959 that the first of 89 serial aircraft were handed over to the Aeron Navier. The primary task of the Alize was anti submarine warfare. For this, it was equipped with a vast array of electronics and weapons such as radar, depth payloads, sonar boys, rockets, etc. It was designed for carrier operations. The wings can be folded up to reduce its size on the ground, and the arrestor hook can be seen below the fuselage. Furthermore, the big venture radar in the rear fuselage can be retracted for a takeoff and landing. The Alize is fitted with a retractable radar for a surface search and with sonar boys for detecting submarines. In the early 1980s, a batch of French aircraft received an upgrade with a better radar, improved navigation, and ESM systems. A second upgrade in the 1990s included a datalink, improved avionics, and FLIR camera. Even though the upgrades were major improvements over the original equipment, the capabilities remain a bit limited compared to contemporary aircraft of the same role. As a turboprop aircraft, the speed is rather limited with a 518 km per hour maximum at altitude and 460 km per hour at sea level. The limited speed makes the Alize an easy target for fighter aircraft and anti-aircraft guns. On the other hand, speed is not a major requirement in maritime patrol. Endurance and range are of great importance 
and both are good, given an endurance of over five hours. The Alize went into operation on the carrier Aeromanches, Clemenceau, and Folk, and were also used in shore-based training. The Alize was used operationally during the NATO air campaign against Yugoslavia over Kosovo in early 1999, with the aircraft flying off the carrier Folk. The last Alize was withdrawn from service in 2000 with the retirement of the Forge. The Alize was also exported to the Indian Navy that used it extensively during the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. The Indian Navy operated the Alize from several bases and from light carrier INS Vikram. The Alize was used for reconnaissance and patrol during India's 1961 liberation of Portuguese controlled Goa and was also used for anti submarine warfare patrol during the Indo Pakistani War of 1971, during which one Alize was shot down by a Pakistan Air Force F 104 Starfighter. It also sank three gunboats. The TAP was finally phased out in 1991, replaced in its duties by anti-submarine helicopters. <laughs>